Hey folks, Chris here again with a quick screencast on a service I like to use for listening to podcasts, and it's something called Huff Duffer. <clears throat> and basically what it allows you to do is subscribe to a podcast, or rather, sorry, not subscribe, but just tag or mark a podcast that you'd like to listen to later, um, and without having to actually subscribe to the whole show. So what often happens, uh, or what can happen, is you would find a, an episode of a podcast or just an audio file somewhere on the web that you might like and maybe you don't want to actually listen to it right that moment and you don't necessarily want to subscribe to the whole podcast and add it to iTunes or Instacast on your iPhone or whatever you happen to listen to podcasts in and uh, you might bookmark it and, and try and remember it for later or download it to your desktop and, and do it that way. Huffduffer allows you to basically create your own sort of podcast of individual episodes that you like. So if you visit huffduffer.com to sign up, you can uh, hit the sign up page and basically just fill out their nice little form here um, with your username and your password and whatever your email is. And if you want to give them more details about yourself, great. If not, no big deal. So obviously I already have an account here. So just quickly log into that. So once you've set up your account, um, then you can start to use the vernacular they use, huff duffing, um, podcasts uh, around the web. The way that it's done is if you visit a page, let's say this uh, fancy podcast page from uh, SSKTN, which is an interview I did with uh, uh, more of a screencast professional than I am, Don McAllister. But let's say for some reason you didn't want to subscribe to the whole show, the whole series of shows, the Welcome to the Internet show, you could just grab this one episode. And there's a couple different ways you could do it. You could um, just go to the Huff Duffer page and manually add something in. So you try and find the, the file URL, the, give it a title, description, whatever tags you want, and away you go. The uh, easier way is to use the bookmarklet, which is down at the bottom of, once you're logged in, you can get your personalized bookmarklet down here, drag it up to your bookmark bar, give it a name, and now you, when you go to a page like this where there's an MP3 on the page, click your shortcut bookmarklet, and it'll fill in the details for you of the URL, the title as taken from the web page, description with whatever it can find off the web page, and then various tags that the website itself actually has on it. And click Huff Duff It. And then, if all goes according to plan, there we go. If I go back, and I'm uh, not sure if this happens instantly or how long it takes on their end. Oh, there we go. Now it's on my HuffDuffer page. So you could actually just bookmark it that way and then come to HuffDuffer.com, log in, listen to this podcast whenever you wanted to, and uh, just use it that way um, as an online sort of repository of all the podcasts that you like. No, I've never been to Canada. Oh. No, never been. So no, there you go. Question. Play it. Um, but the other thing that's really nice is you can actually subscribe to your podcast feed of podcasts you've, you've added to your Huff Duffer page. And so um, you can use the link here to subscribe to it in iTunes or grab the RSS feed and throw it into, uh, say, something like Instacast or um, another podcast listening service. And so then what you get out of that is a list right in your player, your podcast player, of random things you find around the internet. So Say, like, for example, that interview with Don McAllister, or maybe this interview I grabbed with uh, Marilyn Mann talking about Star Wars and this American Life random episode about their retraction of the, the Mike Daisy story about Apple and Foxconn, Weird Al's interview on W2F, etc. So um, I won't necessarily subscribe to all these podcasts individually, but by adding them and using HuffDuffer to sort of track them and store them for when I want to listen to them, it allows you to just keep all that stuff you want to use. It's kind of like Instapaper for podcasts. If you've ever used Instapaper for reading, uh, Huff Duffer would be the, the audio equivalent. So thanks for watching, listening. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Have a great day.